previously on Velma. I'm simping. Simping for her? Because I'm simping for Velma. And now... Oh, yeah. Keep it all on. Velma, what are you doing up there? The episode begins with Velma trashing her father for spending time with his day-old daughter. But when it comes to truly crappy parents, no one beats my dad. I'm taking paternity leave. When I was born, you doubled your work hours. Claiming that he is the worst father ever and doesn't care about Velma or her mother. You know, despite just a few episodes ago offering to give her $500 to help her track down said mother. I'll give you the $500 for her file. Yep, it's going to be a daddy's issue episode. Kill me! Velma arrives at the principal's office to learn about mad female- You don't need to say female. Scientist Edna Perdue, Norville's grandmother. Hey, do you mind? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. But don't let her push you around. You're your own man. When do you need me to have your pants mended by? Ugh, now. Damn, she really wore that crotch out. Great catch, Shaggy. As I was saying- We get this big lore dump on why brains are being stolen from people's bodies. Talk to me about your mad scientist mother. Buckle up. Spill it. <sighs> okay, my mother, Dr. Edna Perdue, has discovered a way to keep the human brain alive outside of the body. Her work caught the attention of Army General to spy on what he believed to be the biggest threat to the American way of life. Meddling kids. What if war is like, cool, man? Hypnosis. What if she could put a soldier's brain into the head of a meddling kid? Called the program the Special Covert Operations Brain Initiative, Scooby. You should feel bad. What did Scooby do? Tell them I hate them. My mom bricked up her secret lab in our basement and was committed to the Crystal Cove Insane Asylum. Playing God, removing brains, that's some white people shit. So I guess this is a Get Out reference, but I actually haven't seen that movie. Also, uh, Get Out was written by a black man. I guess removing brains is just some white peepo shit. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Oh well. My mom disappeared after finding Dr. Purdue's journals. Could they be connected? You're actually a pretty good detective. No. She's done nothing in this show so far apart from wrongfully get Fred sent to jail since he was white. Fred's a rich white guy with a tiny dong who might kill someone because he has a tiny dong. The show finally acknowledges that Daphne is a minor, but no, not that kind, as she arrives to help out her parents steal all the crystals under the town. You're late, Daphne. But something sneaky is afoot. And now they're gonna pay everyone's gonna pay what for crystals what everyone's gonna pay for crystals what this is angelite what it treats anxiety what transmuting aberrant thoughts what into productive cathexis what bang it on your head real hard hmm. okay <laughs> <laughs> No. Velma then awakens from her panic attack in the school infirmary. Now that Norval's getting some, he's no longer funny. Norval, why didn't you make me laugh? I tried! But look at this chart. Interesting that they put their sticker here when I've had to do this for them and during the whole show. Ironic. So the principal won't tell her anything about the murders until she cures her PTSD, which is now her dad's fault. Because I have daddy issues. Gross. Speaking of dads, Shaggy's dad is white, which means it's time to make fun of him. My father is not a beta. I need a hand with some heavy lifting. We're helping your mom's old boyfriend move. Ah, uh, no! Crazy! Velma gets some daddy do at a time, and I can't make this shit up. They go to a strip club together. Oh my god, I totally didn't notice. Can't a father and daughter just enjoy a nice meal at a strip club without it being awkward? No! Can we at least talk later? I have to stop my hallucinations. Hold that thought. I have to make some work calls. Well, then call me Ernest Shackleton, because I'm headed to a poll. You know, at times like this, I often call on Shackleton myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep it all on. Better make that a double. Velma, what are you doing up there? But there are some scenes in this show that even whiskey can't save you from as Velma gets up on the strip pole to get her father to notice her. I'm doing what every girl is doing up here. I'm just trying to get my dad's attention. Remember back in episode two when Velma was selling drugs and I was joking that she was actually going to start an OnlyFans? Remember when that sounded ridiculous? Velma, stop! Wait, why is Velma getting drunk with her dad? I like to think that since these are self-insert characters, they just forgot that Velma and the gang are all 15. I'm like substitute teacher level hungover. <laughs> but with how sick some of the writing has been, I think we know the real reasons for all these scenes. Ah! How dare you? Velma gets mad at her daddy because he's secretly been working while pretending to spend time with her. When you see your pops next, tell him thanks for me. He helped my dad buy Chestney's contract from the strip club. Here's an extra work you requested. 
so she goes to the principal to get the info. Where's that box? The show then conveniently switches off her PTSD, at least until it's needed later, and she learns that her mother found a link between Fred's home and the brain-stealing research of Norville's grandmother. Ghost of Dr. Edna Perdue has returned to finish her work! I don't have time for this! I have to go find my mom and her not-a-ghost serial killer kidnapper! As she then heads to the mansion, Daphne then confronts her parents for leaving town, and they reveal that they care just about as much as her as I do for this show. You're our insurance policy. Wait, what? And all they wanted her for was leverage against her two cop mums, who shop to arrest the gang. <laughs> Yeah, you are sorry. We've been on to you since you busted out of jail and put a dude, dude through our daughter's window. What's this? Brenda. Why does that name ring a bell? We're maybe not the best cops. <laughs> Chesterney, the stripper, almost convinces Fred to murder his father. Maybe one day he'll love you. Very girl, not wrong. You want to help kill him? Yeah. Let's do it. But then she runs away faster than even my own Russian male order bride did. <laughs> Unfortunately for Shaggy, who is ignoring Gigi's calls to be less of a beta, as a man answers his phone when he damn well feels like answering his phone, missed all her calls when she had an allergic reaction to a bee sting. My oh, Gigi stepped on a bee and went to the vet. I'm making her a get well lemon cake. I'll get my zester. And almost dies because earlier in the episode, Velma used up all the EpiPens. The nurse only has one adrenaline shot left. No, no, what am I gonna do? It's really amazing how if Velma had been left to die, everyone else's lives would just be amazing. But oh well. Fred and Velma find the entrance to the secret cave, but then the wall collapses and kills them both. Wait. In my deepest fantasies at least. Daphne's story then gets wrapped up with the information that her parents abandoned her and that the real parents that loved her all along were the lesbian cops. No, I know you stole me from them. Stole you? We took you. There's not gonna be enough room for all the goods in Daphne. Oh. Aww. They abandoned me twice. Ooh, angel light. That cures anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> no. Velma's father then shows up to make the unquestionably wrong choice to save her from getting bricked. Velma, it's me, the parent who only abandoned you emotionally. Who would kidnap your mother? No one wants to talk about 9-11 that much anymore. Fred also gets a peek at Velma's mystery machine and gets lobotomized in the process. Kill me. Footprints? People were just here. And what's this? In the secret lab, they find a piece of paper that was written in Dia's handwriting. Jinkies! Someone wrote jinkies on this paper. Oh no, Dad! I need you to believe me that Mom was kidnapped or I'm gonna die! I believe you! That did it! She's gone! Oh my god, you're right! She was kidnapped! Jinkies is written in your mother's handwriting! She was just here! Jinkies! Which means that the PTSD attacks are now cured. My hallucinations are finally over! I feel like you've said that before. It's really disappointing how they try and use her panic attacks as a plot and humor point in this, which isn't to say that it can't or shouldn't be done. In fact, I just watched something that has an excellent portrayal of one. The difference is that one is being done well and the other one is, well, just lazy. They even admit to as much in the show. How did making you laugh also stop your hallucinations? I don't know, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. It would be pretty lazy not to. Oh, and in the post credit scene, Daphne's mum gets caught by the murderer wearing Dr. Perdue's mask. You know, instead of just cutting out someone's brain, you could just tell them to watch this show again. Anyway, I'll see you next time.